All right, so today we are gonna be testing out the new and improved Androids category team featuring the tech Android 17 and 18 on Extreme Super Battle Road. Now, my Androids are currently at 90%. Um, if you guys saw my summoning video from yesterday, you would have seen me pull three copies of this unit in 35 tickets, which was absolutely insane. Um, I don't really understand how that happens. I'm honestly still trying to wrap my mind around it. But then, this morning, when I woke up, I was like, I'm feeling pretty lucky on this banner for obvious reasons. So I decided to do one more multi and we got another copy. So <laughs> basically in 35 tickets plus one stone multi, I pulled four copies of the tech androids. So yeah, they're at 90%. That's what happened. And with that said, let's uh, take a look at the units we're going to be using in this video. So we got the tech androids, of course. We got the newly Extreme Z Awakened AGL-17, who is very, very good. We have the two AGL-13s as our leads. And then uh, Fizz LR Cell, Int LR Cell, and finally the SDR second form cell. On this first rotation, we got the 17 and 18, the EZA-17, and the AGL-13. Uh, let's see, Tech Android starting with 190,000 defense, the 17 starting with 250,000 defense, and then the 13 starting with 180k. So defense is very good across the board, but this is extreme super bad road, so I'm still gonna use an Icarus first. And uh, for the Tech Androids, we can actually give them eight Tech Orbs. So that's gonna be a pretty significant boost. Their defense goes up to almost 400,000. And then for the other guys, we just have to give them a couple of orbs here, doesn't really matter too much. And let's see how this goes. Okay, so we're taking 98 damage there, 33, and almost seven mil for the first attack. That's gonna be a crit, and he's dead. There you go. Now, like I said, the 17 is amazing as well. Um, double supers right there, 4.7, and then followed by almost five mil. Uh, not quite enough to kill him, but pretty close. Pretty close. This might be like a two turn kind of deal for this uh, first fight against the Sigma Force. Additional there, so he should be dead now. We're off to a great start. <laughs> we're we're off to a very good start. Like I said, new and improved Androids team. Um, this category was already very good in my opinion, but it just got even better with the 17 and 18, as well as the Extreme Z Awakenings to the two 17s, the AGL and the Int ones, and uh, of course. The two easy A17s make a great rotation with each other, but I wanted to really showcase the, uh, you know, Dokkan Fest 17 and 18 in this video, so I decided to only bring one of them. But if you guys have both of the uh, 17s that just got their Extreme Z Awakenings, then run them together because they are a pretty insane uh, rotation. All right, so we got the double cells on this rotation. Um, unfortunately, my Int Cell does not have Big Bad Bosses maxed out. He's still hitting pretty hard, actually, now that I look at it, but he would be hitting even harder if we had the, uh, you know, level 10 Big Bad Bosses. I think right now it's at level 9, which is annoying because we just need 98% HP, but we're at full HP because, uh, this team's just too good. So, there we go. Alright, so this time we got <laughs> 11 orbs. Uh, one rainbow, so 10 tech orbs, and that's gonna be, let's see, 451,000 defense. <laughs> see, guys, this is why, this is why I said in my pass or pull video, I feel like people should really save for the anniversary, by the way, 7.6 mil, right? 
I think that's what it was. 7.6. Um, I think people should be saving for the anniversary for sure. I mean, those banners are just too good to not have a lot of stones for. Those LRs are just too broken to not, you know, give your best shot at pulling. But these androids were just unskippable for me, man, because they're so damn good. And also because I love the androids, especially 18. But yeah, man, I mean, this is just, this is the reason why I couldn't do it. I couldn't just straight up skip the banner. And uh, clearly, we were rewarded in our pulls. All right, um, let me see here. I think we're gonna put, yeah, let's put the cell, int cell in that first slot. Is an Icarus enough? I think so, but since we're facing only two enemies, they're gonna be more powerful than the previous set. Hmm, I think we're okay though. I think we're okay. And at the end, if the 13 gets supered by Rildo, we have type advantage, so it shouldn't be a huge deal. I think. I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. Okay. Here we go. So yeah, um, Androids has always been one of my favorite categories in the game. Now it's just even more so. Uh, Extreme Tech got a really, really nice boost with the release of the Androids which was very much needed, because Extreme Tech was, I think, unanimously agreed by the Dokkan community to be the worst typing in the entire game, right? And for them to get a new Dokkan Fest unit that's on the level of these androids, like, I think they're easily out of, like, the TURs, not including, of course, the Dokkan Fest LRs, especially the 7th Anniversary LRs, so not including those guys. I think the... 17 and 18 are easily like top three Dokkan Fest TUR in the game right now. I don't think that's an exaggeration. Um, I might have to think about it a little bit more. Right now it could just be like the honeymoon phase, right? But I don't know, man. Like I just feel like they're, they're, they're that good. I think they deserve to be that high in the rankings. Am I crazy? Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about that. I don't know, like I said, maybe it's just the uh, recency bias, but they're, they're amazing, let's be honest. So, I'm gonna put the 17 in the first slot, um, so that I can get some more tech orbs for the 17 and 18. Uh, 190k once again for defense, if I give them 8 orbs, that's I believe 6 uh, tech and 2 rainbow. That's 765k defense, which is pretty good. That's pretty good. Um... You know, I think I messed up though. I messed up. I should have gone for the kill on the Super Sigma so that we wouldn't have to worry about a tech super in the last slot. Uh, so now I'm kind of worried about 13. So just to be extra safe, I'm going to pop a Princess Snake. I don't think we need it, but just in case, right? It's, it's not really worth... It's not really worth taking the risk. So here we go. I am going to target Sigma with the uh, 13 just for the chance that maybe we get a crit and and kill him. It's possible. It's unlikely, but possible. Okay. So 17 and 18, they do get a guaranteed additional super, but only if you're below 35% HP, which we might not actually get in this run because... Uh, the team's mad tanky, but I'm also I'm being like pretty cautious, so <laughs> I'm using a lot of items. Um, oh, you know what? I forgot that I forgot that we could stun with 13. I forgot he had that ability, so that worked out. That that really worked out. All right. Okay, so uh, 215,000 defense. If real those supers, actually no, he can't super. He's sealed. So, I'm gonna say we're fine this turn. Yeah, no items required. One guy is sealed, one guy is stunned. Obviously the normals are still gonna hit pretty hard, but if we don't have the threat of the super, then it doesn't really matter. We're, we're good to go. So Sigma's dead. And now we just have Rildo. If Cell gets a crit here, it should be over. 
it should be over. Of course, no crit. That's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Those normals, though. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, um... I gotta say, kind of unexpected. I did not think... Like, I knew the normals would hit hard. I didn't know they were gonna hit that hard. So, nine orbs right there. Uh, 400,000 defense. I think that's gonna be enough to withstand a super. I could be wrong. Maybe I shouldn't take the risk. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, this far into it, I don't think it's worth the risk. So, let's pop a... Let's pop an Aider. And... Here we go. Yep, 123. There's the super. I think it was a good call, guys. Although maybe we didn't need it still. I don't know. Because we only took 23k there. So if we didn't have the Aider... I don't feel like we would have taken that much damage. Like maybe 50k instead, right? Maybe 100k at most. But we most likely would have been fine. Well, either way. Um, androids have been mad impressive, guys. <laughs> the 17 and 18 have been mad impressive. The whole team has a... You know, as a as a whole, right? Like collectively, it has been very good, but it, it's kind of the 17 and 18 show here. So we're gonna go for the Whis here. Um, I think we'll be fine with that. Maybe. Yeah, we should be okay. We should be okay. All right, so let's go for the 18 key super or 24 key super actually on baby. Uh, we can target... Let's go for baby again. What? Um... I'm thinking if I should save these for the androids, but that's fine. We'll give an 18 key super to the cell, and then... Let's go for a real though. The thing is, if we get double super this turn, I think they'll kill us. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust these guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't trust these guys. I've died way too many times on the last stage of these runs to feel safe at this point. And even though these guys have good defense, it's not like it's not like amazing defense, right? Like we're not talking about the tech androids with 400,000. These guys have 200k, about half. And uh, if we get caught by a type disadvantage super like this, see that would have been a really bad time. That super would have been a really bad time if I hadn't used the double item. So now we're fine. Now we don't have to worry about anything, but I wasn't about to die like that far into the showcase. Now, I'm hoping we actually leave the baby alive because I want to use the active skill for the androids, which we haven't had a chance to use yet. I could have used it actually earlier on, but we didn't really need it. Um, now... Let's uh, showcase it a little bit. So, let's see who has the most attacks here. Um, it looks like the Rildo has the most attacks to me. So, let's target Rildo and just tell him no attacks for you. It's essentially a targeted Ghost Usher. It's not quite as good as a Ghost Usher because obviously a Ghost Usher delays all enemy attacks. Whereas this one only delays the attacks for one enemy but it's still very useful still extremely clutch as you guys can see and uh let me see actually what we're gonna do here um the thing that sucks is we can't really get that many tech orbs unless we go like this we can get a few more tech orbs if we give these no actually i don't think it makes that much of a difference all right well okay let's go for real though Give these to 17. Um, I think it actually makes more sense to get the seven AGL orbs versus two tech orbs. So, yeah, let's go back to. Let's go for Dr. Mew. That's going to be seven AGL orbs, which is going to be a much smaller boost than getting tech orbs, but we're still getting 264,000 defense, which is not bad. And uh, then we'll go for Baby again with the second form cell. So it's going to be a less impressive turn than we're used to from the androids, but 
it should still be fine. I think they'll still get over like 3, 4 mil attack, which for most units is fine. Oh, how did I miss two? I don't know what happened there. All right, anyways. Um, yeah, for most units, the, the attacks that they're about to get would be still quite impressive. It's just like these guys have set such a high standard that... Oh, never mind. 5.7 still. <laughs> 5.7 still, that's, that, that's not too shabby. I was expecting much less, man. I, I really thought it was going to be like 4 mil. But we got AGL orbs instead of tech orbs. Still was able to get almost 6 mil attack. Um, you can't really say much about that. Can't really complain about that. So there you have it, guys. That is the, I mean, I guess mainly showcase for the 17 and 18. That was the main reason that uh, we did this video. But... You guys also got to see just how good this uh, EZA-17 is. If you guys have him in your in your box, which most people should because he's very old and very common, then uh, make sure you extreme Z awaken him, especially if you have either the 17 and 18 or the Int Hellfighter 17 because those two make a crazy rotation as well. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the showcase let me know in the comments down below where you think the tech 17 and 18 rank among all of the top TURs in the game I think they're they gotta be top three um I think they're pretty much better than you know the uh GT Goku and Vegeta I think they're better than all the EZA 120 leads even though I love cooler I love the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta um I think they're better than those as far as TURs go so, I mean, they could be top, they could be the best TUR in the game. I don't know. I got to think about it some more. But top three, easy. Top three, easy. And uh, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, yeah, until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.